Hello, question three. Um, a survey asked adults whether they suffered from asthma and whether they suffered from migraine. The table shows the results. Work out the probability that an adult in the survey who suffers from asthma does not suffer from a migraine. So we've got the asthma sufferers here in this area. So this is going to be out of 41 because that's 13 plus 28. That's all of our asthma sufferers. And if they don't suffer from a migraine, that's going to be 28 over 41 because we've got 28 of them that don't suffer from that migraine. OK, so that's the first bit done. 28 over 41. Uh, part B. In the UK, 5.4 million people suffer from asthma. Use the information in the table to estimate the number of people in the UK who suffer from a migraine. So 5.4 million is worth, all right, suffer from asthma. Uh, so that's going to be the 2841 out of the total amount of people that have been surveyed. So that's 398 plus 52 plus 13 helps if I turn my calculator on. 398 plus 52 plus 13 plus 28 gives us 491. Okay, now looking at this, we need to know how many people in this study had suffered from migraine. So that's in here. 13 uh, plus 52 gives us 65 people there. So we're going to want to know what 65 out of 491 is worth. So with this 5.4 million value, 5.4 million, we're going to divide it by 41 because that's going to tell us what 1 out of 491 is. And then we're going to multiply it by 65. So 5, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by 41 times by 65 gives us 8560975.61. We can't have a fraction of a person. So roughly that's going to be 8560976. We're going to round that one up. So roughly eight and a half million people. Okay, 3C. Give one reason why your answer to 3B might not be a good estimate. Now, this is all surveying adults. It's not surveying children at all. Um, some people or children may have a high um, proportion of, of asthma sufferers. However, what I'm going to go with is the sample size is too small. Sample size is too small to be accurate for large numbers. So the bigger your sample size is, the more success you're going to have with your numbers. And that's what I'd be looking at there. It's, that's a very A-level stats question. Always look at that sample size and suggest that perhaps it's too small. If the sample size is massive, perhaps it's going to be very time consuming and expensive to do. So make sure that you remember those terms. That's question three done. Nice quick video. And I'll see you for question four. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and obviously share it amongst your friends. Bye-bye.